<laughs> seeing somebody at least on a screen is such a gift. Yeah, thank, it is. Thank goodness that we have this. I just saw that you're running for state rep. I am running for state rep, so I'm really wow. excited about that. Yeah. yeah. That's exciting. It is very exciting. Yeah. When does that come up? Uh, November 3rd is the election day. Oh, on election day. Well, I'll be voting for you. <laughs> oh, thanks, Joyce. Oh, my Definitely. goodness. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Okay. Well, I think it's almost 10 o'clock so maybe we could just chit chat for two minutes and then we'll be ready to go but you look gorgeous how was your walk oh, this morning how, oh it was great it was great so I'm glad I went early because it's good and hot yes yes I just got good news my bicycle has been repaired so I can go get back on my bike I was doing a really good streak of 16 days I think I'm up to where I was either oh. biking or running and I much prefer biking because it's not so hard on the joints and exactly. the bike is ready to get picked up again. So I'm very excited. Oh, that is that. exciting. I know my brother rides his bike every day. I don't have one or I'd be doing that. But I have yeah. to get that, that water fix, that Long Island Sound fix. Oh. I've, always, I've always needed it. Yes, yes, yes. I always have to be near water. In New York City, I was near the Hudson. In okay. Florida, I was on the intracoastal. And now I'm you know here <laughs> yeah yeah are those the three places where you've lived yeah well yeah. i was born in um belmont mass lexington and belmont and went to college in boston but oh. after that uh to new york city yeah yes yeah i lived there for 29 years you've been where for 29 florida new york city oh wow okay yeah the Big Apple, and yeah. we'll have to talk about the, what's going on in the theater in the Big Apple, because that's- That's heartbreaking. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, I mean, I'm a, matter, I'm a member of Actors Equity Association, so we're always uh, writing letters to the our Congress and Congress people, and senators, and doing everything that we can, but nothing's gonna do anything except the virus going away. Oh my gosh, yes, that's just such a priority. So good morning, Joyce Bouvet. So happy that you could join me today. Just wanted Thank to you. say good morning and welcome. And so proud of you for the contributions that you are making to our community in East Lyme, Connecticut. Today, what I wanted to talk to you about was the show that's coming up, Private Lives. I want to hear a little bit about what the show is about, if you can give me a teaser to get excited. Yeah, and then sure. just like when it's going to be showing, what we mm -hmm. should bring, how we're going to do this. Um, any other questions? Yeah, that you protocols. Uh, give it calls, calls. Absolutely. Because yep. I knew we're in a, I know we're in a new age and time with social distancing and not having the opportunity to do things as usual. So, and I know you are so careful with all of that. So thank you. And thank you for your talent and who you are and what you've brought to our community in East Lyme in just the few years that you've been here. Cause you haven't been here that long. Um, I think seven years. That's not that long. And no. you are a known lady, power powerhouse of uh -oh. theater. <laughs> and, be in trouble. And, I could do something wrong at any second. Well, <laughs> you know what? Yeah, it's very forgivable. If you fall down, <laughs> and we'll say, wow, she did a great job falling down. But you'll fall down <laughs> yeah, right. and you'll get back up. So, so tell me, Joyce, uh, the show. And it's theater under the shell. And it's who is sponsoring this? How is this all happening? Well, first of all, thank you, Kate Steele, so much for inviting me. And you are pretty remarkable in this community. I will tell you, I admire you enormously. And it's I'm busy. I'm very busy. I got to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know busy, which is something I didn't know two months ago. And all of a sudden, I do. I'm, we were very late in coming to the decision to... Um, have the show, but we're because we wanted yeah. to. We had waited for Governor Lamont's June twentieth stage, and then there were more conversations with the town officials, and uh, finally we got the okay, like the week of July fourth, and I had changed the play to a four actor play instead of a, a six actor play to have so social distancing could happen in rehearsals and uh, all kinds of things. It was very last minute. Last year, we started rehearsal June 14th. This year, we started rehearsal July 6th. 
So oh, wow. we have wow. a very abbreviated rehearsal time. So you're just uh, getting hitting the ground running, yes. And well, we're just praying the audience will appreciate a, mo a, a moment in time to have some summer and that they'll be very forgiving. <laughs> We just have to enjoy and celebrate. And you know what? It's supporting theater. It's supporting art. It's supporting yeah. being outside and yeah. our beautiful band shell that we have. I, I love that area. McCook's Point Park is so gorgeous. And so our sponsors, um, the East Lime uh, Parks and Rec Department. Yes. Um, the East Lime Senior Center. Yes. They administer our financing and so many people from our community donated uh, and sponsored last year and then so many people attended that it paid for the production this year so i didn't have to go around raising money which would have been just about impossible although if we're going to work next year uh, we're going to have to have sponsors again but last year well, i'm sponsored... hoping i'm hoping joyce that you have really good attendance this year yeah. that will kind of bow you forward help us yeah and then our sponsors are Bayside, Niantic, you know, that whole lovely building across from Lillian's um, at 377 Main Street and Rings End and Total Mortgage and Smoochy Bird and Tony D's and Geico and Charter Oak and the Niantic Inn and of course the Niantic Main Street Association and my own company, Shoreline Drama. So, nice. and then, you know, so many people have helped us. But the show that we're doing Yes, it's yes, please. Lives. I'm dying to hear. Private lives. I kind know. Of sounds like a little bit of a detective thing. Private lives. No, or? not at all. No, no. Not at, uh, no. this not is at by the, the great uh, playwright wit genius um, of the 1920s and 30s in theater. And he's from Britain. And he, there there's a movie that's been made of this. It's, I think, won all kinds of awards. And he and Gertrude Lawrence starred in the original production on the West End in 1930. And he calls it an intimate play. And it is a- uh, so It's a romance. It's a romance. Wow. And, in the time of COVID. Um, let me tell you about doing a romance with social distancing. <laughs> it's quite different. It's also a comedy because he's so witty, but there's a lot of levels to it. And he wrote this and performed it during the depression and he wanted to offer the audience an escape and that's i think why we're doing it too <laughs> oh we need an escape absolutely yes and just seeing you is not, such an escape today yes like, it's so it's just fluff but it's got some levels to it of course. and um it's about the upper crust society of britain and, and they really don't do anything with their lives except travel and gossip and go to parties. <laughs> and uh, it, it opens with two couples on their honeymoon. And they have um, neighboring suites on the Riviera. And they come out on their terrace. And these two couples, the individuals in these two couples, discover something about each other that changes the course of their lives and oh. the course of the play. Ooh. So you will have to see what that is and the madness that ensues. Okay, um, we well, have, you really have piqued my interest, <laughs> absolutely. We have, we have just uh, such a wonderful cast. Um, Deborah Mott plays Amanda, Elena Kingsley plays Sybil, Michael Lachance plays Elliot and Rich Springman plays um, Victor, and then Ginny Katz sneaks in at the end of the play as Louise the maid, and I promise you, you will never forget her. She's <laughs> and um, we have a, a crew, a very tiny crew. In fact, when we're erecting the set Wednesday, we're gonna show up at the band show Wednesday morning and put up the piping and the curtaining and then the set pieces any strong young man or any gentleman that will do his best to socially distance and will wear a mask, we could use their help in- Oh, in actually, I know a couple, so I can maybe oh. send them down your way. Yes. So absolutely, yes, yes. Uh, that's good, because we purposely kept the crew very small. And so I don't have the, the, the team that I've always had 
uh, because we want to be very careful with social distancing. But to put the set up, we're really missing some help. And um, for the audience, everybody is invited. We okay, so everybody is you. welcome. And you said it uh, starts July 29th. It's a Wednesday. It runs from Wednesday, August 29th to Wednesday through Wednesday, August 5th. The show Every starts single night. Six. Every Pardon single me? night. Every, Every single, single night. night. So wow. if you if it's we want to keep it utterly socially distanced with the audience. And they must wear masks and bring their own chairs and their picnics if they so desire. Blankets, and, every um, bug spray. Yep. And if and so if you can't socially distance, then come the next night. Sure. The only reason there won't be eight shows is if it rains, there's no show. That's right. why we don't sell tickets because there's no way of knowing. It's a $20 donation if you feel so inclined. And we hope people will. And we hope people will follow our protocols because we worked very hard in rehearsal. I'll tell you, um, there's a lot of kissing and hugging in the show, of which we can do neither. Right, how do you do that? Well, I guess I'll just have to wait and find out. You'll find <laughs> <laughs> I know, I, I have all these questions. Hello with what guys. we've done to, yes, to, yes. to make that happen and keep it intimate when it's the last thing we can do. Right. But it, I think you'll have fun with it and I think you'll go with it. And you know, the train always runs through in, in the performance and our regular audience knows that and they just ignore it. But if you're new to it, I think there were fewer trains this year, so <laughs> that's a right. blessing. We just keep right on going. We don't stop for the train. It zooms by. But it all adds to the atmosphere. Of and course. It's, all, it's just such a lovely setting. So I'm just wondering, is there going to be uh, somebody like an usher or somebody that's going to take the donations as you walk up the path? Or are there two entrances from either McCook Park or from Hole in the Wall Beach. How there are, but yes. but there's only one table where we take the donations, and okay. we have reduced people there too. So if anyone wants to help me with that, because I'm wearing every hat in the book, sure, um, I'd, I'd be happy to help. I'd love to be out there with you, helping oh, supporting this program. So that, absolutely, and do you have enough masks for everybody? And maybe we should have masks available for. Patients. I don't have extra masks, so, nor the budget for them. Um, right, but people by now should all have their own masks, because we're all keeping each other safe, and and people that don't wear masks would not be welcome in this setting because we don't want to be responsible for starting a problem in our beautiful Of course, country. no, I, and I really yeah. appreciate your respect for that and your care with that. And that's just so important, so. I wish we'd have extra mats, but our budget is right now minus zero. <laughs> oh, minus zero, oh dear, that yeah. doesn't sound good. So I do have access to some masks, so I will bring what I have and share what I have, and I will be there to help you and support you. And I'll see you hey, about getting wonderful, getting some set up. And I'm wondering how else we can get the word out. Like maybe we should contact some of the radio stations. And of well, course, the day came to rehearsal uh, Friday. Okay. And uh, they called me. It was very nice. You know, we've. We've called the day over the years, and sometimes they'll post a picture after the show. But I guess right. there's, if, if she's the, she's lovely, Christina, she is a lovely woman. But um, there's not much theater news, so I guess the word spread. Good. I mean, we're so lucky because we're outside, the band shell is outside, and other, my mystery theater had to be canceled in March. Um, indoor theater is, I don't know where we're going to go with that. I but know, we're scary. outside, so the day is coming to take pictures. Uh, we start rehearsing in the band shell on Thursday, and they're going to come and take some photographs, and um, they're going to run a story. We oh, have posted posters around town to the best of our ability. There are a lot of our wonderful businesses that aren't operating in order to post the posters. Um, I post on... I annoy everyone, I'm sure, because I post and post and post on Facebook. On well, all of and the other thing, groups. 
Joyce, as we always say, if somebody sees your post, share your post. And that's exactly sharing, right. We need sharing them. Is sharing is yeah. sharing, right. Yeah. So yeah. we need to get the word out as much as possible. And it's just a fun thing to do. People so are a little fun. bit stir crazy right now. And I think right. we need activities and to yeah. laugh, to laugh out loud and to realize. To laugh out loud, to be, do something that's a part of our community. It's our fourth season. So it's a tradition. It's huge. And, um, it's going to be different for a lot of reasons, but it's still going to be great fun. And um, it's, I don't know, it's, I don't want to watch theater on Zoom. Actors and singers and musicians have to continue to perform because it's in their soul. Whatever the but, opportunity or the I, platform is. We have is. a chance to do real live theater with the audience. We always have had fun with the audience and gone out into the audience, which we can't do this time. But we're still going to have fun with the audience. They will good. stay. Good, good, good. Oh, good we're, opening night, opening night, I must tell you this. We're going to start at 5.45. Oh, I oh. recommend everybody come early to the performance they choose because you might miss out if you can't social distance to get your spot as soon as possible. And opening night at 45, 5.45, we're going to have a musical mu musical trio called the Dabsters. Dabsters. And they're going to do about 15 minutes of a little pre-show of music. Oh, fun. Very yeah. fun. Oh, good. Now, is this, I, I know it's kind of a romance kind of thing. Is it okay for kids 13 and under? To, I really? mean, it's okay, but they'd be bored to death, probably. Okay. <laughs> so the humor is a little bit higher level, and unless... I mean, it's really not, a, it's not, none of our plays are ever family kid, kid shows. Okay. There are a lot of people that do shows for children. This is more for their parents. Okay. It's, it's not X rated at all or no, R rated. No. It's just, if I were, well, when I was a teenager, when I was 12, I was doing theater, but most kids would have more fun doing something else in their evening. You know, sure. their parents would know them. Their parents would know Noel Coward. It's with a British accent. Oh, fun. And we can have face shields on our actors. So you can <laughs> see them and we'll have microphones. Oh, wow. But, um, you know, it's gonna, so I, I don't know. I can't see a 12 year old sitting through it. They'd probably rather be playing Nintendo or something else. I don't know. Well, when I was a kid, Joyce, I have to tell you, I used to watch Lawrence Walk every Sunday night with my mother. So <laughs> yeah, I, my parents wrote me into that one too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the lovely Lennon sisters. Remember? Yes. That? Oh, yes. Yes. Indeed. Yes. Uh, and Myron, somebody or other on the, I don't know, he was one of them in the bubbles. Yes. yes. <laughs> Okay, well, it's just so good to see you. Glad that you're out there making a difference again in our community, helping us to laugh and enjoy the moment. And I do have to put in one little plug for my friend Joanne, who has the labyrinth. So as you walk up through Hole in the Wall, that labyrinth is right there on your right as you go up the path, and it's so beautiful. So Everybody can just take a meditative moment and think about what they're grateful for. And, you know, grateful for the beautiful sound and the water that we have and the, the, the clean uh, grasses and fields that we have in theater and to be able to laugh. And that we're I've all done that labyrinth so many times. I did it last year. It looks like it's bigger this year. Oh, I she's planted rose bushes around it. So that's yeah, so pretty. Been... I see it. Now, well, I'll be doing it a lot while we're rehearsing because it will help <laughs> me from going crazy. I yeah. love her labyrinth. I mean, a... that was part of my walk when I could go both ways on the boardwalk last year. I did the labyrinth every day. Nice. So thank her. I'm glad she's your friend. It's oh, she is my friend. Fun. She's great. Great thing to do in intermission. Go do yes. the labyrinth. Oh, so how long is the show? It starts at 6, but we should be there at 5.45, especially on the first night. Is it I would hours? come at 5.30, really, okay. to find your spot. I really okay. would, because okay. I don't want to turn people away, and I may have to. Maybe, not even if we're that lucky. <laughs> I mean, last year, we had some audiences that were 180 or 200. Oh, I don't fabulous. expect that at all this year. There are people that aren't going to go anywhere for any reason. Sure. 
but if you're going to go anywhere, this would be the place and the fun to go. Okay. But, and how um, long do you think the show? You probably don't know yet because you have to No, I haven't time, but it's, it's, um, with intermission, it'll probably be two hours and 15 minutes, something okay. like that. Okay. Great. Yeah. You spend the know. evening and you'll, you'll eventually see the moon come up and the oh, stars come oh, up and oh. it's a beautiful way to leave, you know? Fabulous. So yeah. we should maybe, it still be light out. I'm thinking we don't need a flashlight or anything on our way out. If you, if you got one on your phone or you bring one, there's no reason not to, just to be careful. Of course. But, um, yeah, you won't be camping out. <laughs> no, no, no. Yes, yes. Okay. Will there be any concessions? Anybody selling cookies or anything like that? No, we have always had a food truck, but we're not doing any food this year. Okay. So that's why I say bring a picnic. Bring okay. snacks, bring a beverage. Yes, yes. Um, and some bug spray, yes, and maybe oh, sunscreen. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad you mentioned that, Kate. Bring bug spray. That time of night, the no seams, that's what we call them in Florida. I don't know yes, what you yes. call them here. They bite like crazy, and especially if there's been some rain. But the natural health food store on Hope Street sells a bug spray that um, it's got yellow and orange and green on the label and it's um, made of herbs. And I came prepared with everything. I come every year with DEET and everything else, but that bug spray is the only thing that worked. And right. it's kind of expensive. And every one of my people kept borrowing my bug spray because nothing else worked. So if you want to get a good bug spray that really works, get it at the natural health food store. Okay, that's good to know too. And give her a little business too. And there was something else I bought not too long ago that was called Herbal Armor, I think is a really that good- kind of, That'll work too. Yeah, yes, it's yeah. That, the herbs work better for some reason. I, I mean, I like that they do, but I was prepared to, to chemicalize my body with DEET if it was going to keep me from getting bitten. And it doesn't work. It doesn't work like this does. So I'm glad. Well, it's not good to put on your skin anyway, I don't think. No, so. it's terrible. Yeah. But I didn't yeah. want to get bitten. But this works. Not. And yeah. I well, like Joy your uh, mushroom. My mushroom? What is that? Is that a mushroom? I'm not sure. OK. Um, anyway, just. <laughs> oh, there's a picture on my frame that says steel. And it's, it, it's a mushroom in, in, in the foliage. Oh, okay. Um, but anyway, so thank you, Joyce, for yeah, spending some time with me. I'm thrilled. Thank to you for volunteering. You. Yes, yes. And we'll look forward to being together soon, um, six feet apart, but still together. And getting, I can't wait to see your show and to laugh out loud. And I'll try to see if I can find someone to help you a little bit and get some word out there. And feel free to call me, text me anytime, it's whatever I can thank do to you. support you. Me too. Okay. Thanks, Thank Kate. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a great so day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.